Have you ever seen that before? Welcome back to the BST4 channel. Wing Nuts, what's going on? What is happening? This car has not started in about two weeks. I just didn't really do a thorough check as I should. I just threw parts at it, threw parts at it, and hopefully it worked. We changed the starter first, right? Had a starter situation. I changed it, installed it. That wasn't it. Made a jumper wire. The new starter worked, and also the old starter works. Now, I changed the ECU. Now, what I did was, this ECU over here had a bad prong. It was bent, and probably can't see it. I straightened it out, which was amazing. And it was touching something, so I thought it was arcing. Turn on the PAT system, shut the car off. That's what I thought. Then I went and got that ECU, that wasn't it. Now I'm starting to look at fuses where I should have started first. I checked this fuse here, good. I checked this fuse here, good. Everything was okay. Then, neutral safety switch, a uh, gear selector thingy underneath here. I went and I jumped those wires. There's no power down there, even when the car is on. So, let me get this right here. Oh, and turn it back on. I don't know what I'm doing. Turn this back on. See all this and everything is on. And this still doesn't work. If you click this on here, that's supposed to start it. That doesn't work. So we have that in the on position. Now, it's just funny business over here. Now you see, it's dim. And something is clicking. And then you come back. And now it's bright. I have no clue on what that is. It, 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 man, I didn't do anything. And it's not no dash situation and all that other stuff. It's something else. It really is. Yeah. You see how it don't start? I don't know what's up with that. And you turn these off. Let's turn this off here. And you check that one bright, green wire bright, another wire over there, green wire bright, nothing over there, nothing over there. Turn this thing on, everything lights up. Except that wire over there. This one is a starter. So the starter relay works, obviously. But, you know, I don't know. Now I'm trying to look for another wire over here. I don't know, man. I'm really lost. I'm not going to lie to you. Even when you click that thing, you see the, like it wants to engage. I don't know if this is bad. I have no clue. Um, I check relays. I check fuses underneath here. Uh, check uh, one of these fuses. Everything that's ECU and fuel pump related, they're good. Everything's on. What is that? Have you ever seen that before? What is that? Let me sit with this for a little bit. So I took me a break, man, because I got these heads back from the machine shop and I got these, um, what do you call these threads in them? Time certs. Yeah, that's what they're called. And it has a little groove in the spark plug holes just a little bit, as you can see in this photo here. So I cleaned them up and yo, looking pretty daggone good. It looks like the rest of them a little bit. You know, a little bit more shinier, but nevertheless, man, it looks the same. It's pretty cool. We just have to clean it up. Maybe mess with the ports just a little bit to clean off some of that grime in there because it's stuck. And some of these are just really cruddy and everything, and we just want to go ahead and clean that up. And that's what we're going to do with that. Now, along with this engine here, man, man, you guys said a lot of things, man, and it had me thinking really did. My man Crown Vic Lifestyle, man, he said some profound things, and he's right 100% should rebuild it the junkyard guy and me who's broke and part of me who just want to see something work 
just to see it work says run it as is. Now, there was four people out there that said something and those people had basically said the same thing and I'm paraphrasing, basically run it and see how it worked. You know what I mean? I think Kathy said, you know, you, you, you basically, um, a person can throw money at an engine and make it work, but a true craftsman who knows what they're doing can actually just strategically put parts in a certain place to make it run again. Anybody can spend money. If I crack these bolts, right? Everything's gonna have to be this thing here. ARP down. Studs and everything, because I can't find none of these bolts in stock form. Side bolts, can't even find them in stock form. No torque to yield, nothing. I can't find them. Everything is this, ARP studs. So, these right here cost $80. These up here cost $120. Uh, these right here is probably another $80 to $120, and that's just fasteners on the bottom. We ain't do bearings yet. We don't know if the crank is scarred. We don't know if we need to go ahead and do that. You know what I mean? And, and, and it starts to be a lot of money. You know what I mean? You want to get pistons? I would run the stock pistons. I wouldn't change them. Why bother? This is a junk build. We're just going to put things back the way it is. We're going to do slightly um, um, a performance thing. If I... Here's the deal, man. Like, if this spark plug thing was not beat, I would have just ran the engine as is. I would have just kind of shaved the head down taming chain and everything. See, this was the pause with this situation here. You know what I mean? That was the big deal right there. Tearing this down and getting that done. You know what I mean? Because now it's like, okay, might as well do valve stem seals. You might as well, you know, it was like that. And that's stuff that I can do versus sending it out for somebody else to do. Got you updated with that. Now we're back to this over here, man. And um, it's a headache, man, because I really don't know what I'm doing. I don't like electrical stuff and stuff going wrong with a car that's electrical so i sat back and i really thought about it but about the time i figured it all out it started to rain all right man i'm going to show you guys a few things got to bear with me on the video we're just going to run through it i'm trying not to chop it or cut it or anything it's very important all right now it, it was this situation right here see that bolt there that's what was the issue now we're going underneath here right I'm gonna pay attention to a few things. It was my blunder, man. Spent. <laughs> All right, see that there? Check engine light and everything. Runs. All right, we're gonna turn it off. Then we're gonna go back in here. We're gonna unscrew this thing. Now, I'm not gonna cut the video, cause you know, you probably don't get to really understand that, hey man, this stuff happens. All right, let's see. Is it enough? Yeah, it's enough. Now we're gonna go over here and see what the heck really is good. Now we're gonna turn it on first. First thing you notice, you don't see no ground. Turn the key, it doesn't start. That's what we were dealing with. Now we can tighten it back up and it'll run. But here we have another situation. This ECU right here, right? supposed to have a patch delete so the car is supposed to start with that ECU in it so we're going to install that ECU once we um tighten this thing up right here and then we see if that ECU will work all right we got the battery terminals on we took the other ECU out that's the new, that ECU is in there that bolt right there is tightened just double checking now we're going to check and see if this thing will start Make sure lights are on, everything. You see, the ECU doesn't work. All right, so that's the proof that that ECU does not work. You know, now I'm just gonna try to talk to the tuner and tell him, hey, yo, man, I need a refund or you need to fix it, one of the two. Man, if you guys still watching this video, man, thank you so much. It's long and dragged out, but I have to do this because I'm going to be giving this video to the ECU guy to show him that his ECU does not work. More than likely, he will not give me back my $100. It's cool. No problem. You don't have to do it, sir. Don't worry about it. It's all good. So here's the gist of this whole story, man. Go simplistic with your situation. To recap what happened, messing with the ECU, no, messing with the cluster. And then the cluster attack started to jump. I didn't think anything of it. I thought it was this box. I sent that box back, right? 
So the next day the car did not start. I'm like, wow, it did not start. I thought it was a starter, went and got a starter. I thought it was a ECU because when I took the ECU out, the prongs were touching. So I thought that the PATS system shut down the ECU or burnt it out. So I went and got another ECU, got the PATS delete on that. Obviously that didn't work because I have the old one back in there after I took the whole thing out. Then I start checking things and everything. I even went and got me a switch from out of the junkyard. When that happened, I was like, something is really going on. I even checked um, the selector neutral safety switch on the transmission. But as you can see in the video, man, it was just that ground. And mind you, the car started with that ground um, bolt out. So I didn't really think nothing of it or even tighten it down. I wouldn't even, I didn't know. You know what I mean? I just thought it was a regular ground that just grounds you know what I mean? Like if you go in your trunk, there's a ground wire. It's just, I thought it was nothing special. But it's something that controls part of that daggone cluster. And now we have um, the ECU, or not the ECU, but we got the uh, cluster rocking, tachometer working and everything. So we're good on that. Now we can get back to the engine situation. But the gist of this whole thing is, man, is just go simplistic. Trial and error with any situation that you're dealing with your car and then go deep. Because you can start throwing money at something so you don't overspend, man. Because it could be something as simple as a ground wire that can make your day or week or weeks messed up. Just stay simplistic. Stay simple. And that's really what this whole video is all about, man. So, man, thank you guys for checking out. The video it was long and dragged out. But I had to give you, now I'm going to try to see if I can get the ECU to work from the guy. Or he can give me a refund. I doubt he's going to give me a refund. I doubt if he's going to reply. So I'm out of $120. We leave, we, we cool with that. We're cool. I'm not going to get upset or angry. It was my bad. If I know better, I do better. Next time, I will ground that situation or recheck the stuff that I need to do and we'll get things going. All right, see you guys. <laughs>